Round one, we have the choice. We're going to play first. Uh, three black mana, four red spells. I think we're going to have to do better than that. This one works. I'm going to bottom that. Hmm. Uh oh. There was our sweet madness enabler. Esper. All right. Apothecary Geist, pretty good. It's going to make our murderous compulsion a lot worse. Hmm. Quite the miss there. Um, don't really want to trade incorrigible youths for a 3 2. I think we're just going to pass. Oh, just a Soren. Guess we'll use the compulsion on the. Eh. Yeah, we gotta take Soren out. So I guess we're gonna use Burn from Within on our opponent, taking out Soren, and then we'll compulsion the Cause otherwise I could compulsion the Geist, but uh then I can't kill Soren, so I don't like that. So let's just burn him for three. And then we'll compulsion this guy and pass. If I chump here, I still die next turn. So I guess we take it. All right. Let's go to game two. Just got a bit flooded there. Um, so he's got some flyers. Do Vessel of Malignity to try and deal with Soren. 
could do that. Not sure what I'd ditch for it, though. Reduced Ashes would have been fine to deal with his flyers. Still like Compulsion, even though it was bad against his equipment. Uh, don't really want to cut a creature... Oh, maybe we don't bring in the vessel. I just don't feel like cutting anything. All right, we'll play first. So I've got a couple black mana, no red. I guess we'll keep this. Thing is, if we get a red mana, we can use the neonate to good effect. We still have Concoction, too, if we find a red mana to play the, the youths. Alright. Bit of an unfortunate miss there. All right, at least we're too closer to a mountain. Ooh, Odric's very good. So I guess I can ditch Compulsion next turn and kill both his guys with the Sinister Concoction. Probably do that. I always forget Odric triggers on uh, opponent's turn as well. Or, yeah. AKA my turn. All right, so make sure we deal with Odric. Discard Murderous Compulsion. Take out that guy. All right, red mana. So I can use Neonate to rummage and take out the Hound of the Farbog. All right. So we do have to get hit by that.
All right. We actually have four card types. Can you believe it? Seems like a bold attack. Opponent's deck is pretty sweet. Odric, Invocation, Soren. Haven't seen much in terms of removal from our opponent's deck, other than Soren, of course. So, yeah, opponent's deck looks pretty good. He was playing three color. We didn't see any fixing yet. Maybe that'll come up as being a problem. He's also playing the equipment, which does actually play well against us. Vigilance, as it turns out. Invocation, I feel like with the amount of removal we have, we're less worried about that coming up and being a problem. And Neonate played well, I'll admit. Turned out to do what, basically? We played a card to play another card to draw a card. Al, it's kind of a necessary evil, I feel like. Um, Vessel of Malignity. He does have a bit of a top end. I don't know if I want to play Vessel of Malignity, though. I just really cannot find the drive to commit to that. Rancid Rat seems a bit worse, I guess, with his flyers. I still think we're going to Skeleton seems worse with flyers, too. I, I like rats more against flyers than I'd like Skeleton. It's not like all of his deck is flyers, though. He de definitely has some ground guys, too. I'm really considering bringing in this vessel. He's got some good... He's three color. He's got some top end stuff I really would like to get rid of. I might just ditch the skeleton. It basi basically has synergy with Mad Prophet and Crow of Dark Tidings. Other than that, I don't really care about a 1-2 ground guy that doesn't die easily. I'd rather just have a Death Touch Rat. Like, yeah, it goes infinite with Mad Prophet. I don't think that's a big deal. I think we're going to ditch the Skeleton. It does bring us down to 14 creatures with the, the Geese's bidding, but we'll see how big of a deal that is. Um, okay, we got to mull this one. I think we're going to mull this, too. I, I really don't want to keep that. All right, we'll keep this. And I guess we'll keep that on top.
All right, I think we're going to offer the Ember Eye Wolf trade with the Rancid Rats. All right. I guess burn from within kind of works well against uh, Sanitarium Skeleton, but that seems a bit proactive to be worried about that. Mm. I'd have to take four next turn. Two cards left in my opponent's hand. Use a mana away from Sorin. I think we're going to wait. We're going to take one more hit. So, all right, got to kill that. And if we draw a land, we can reduce the, to ashes the ghoul, which does make us not have to discard, which I like prefer to not have to murderous compulsion but I might have to just because I've taken too much damage although now I can no I guess we just reduce could have also compulsion plus crow of dark tidings but then I would have to discard something which I don't love at least we're like caught up I've only got two card types in the yard. No cards left in our opponent's hand. Murderous Compulsion is a bit of a dead card now. There's really no reason to reduce a uh, skeleton to ashes, I don't think.
All right. It's, it goes infinite with uh, the skeleton. Can't play that yet. I think we'll just... I don't think I want to attack. So I guess we just reduce the aristocrat. He can sack it to itself, but... Otherwise, I can play Crow of Dark Tidings. So he can sack this, make it a 2-2, two -two, bring it back. Play it, sack it, make it a 3-3. Three, three. I guess we got to take care of it now. Hmm. I guess I'm going to lose to that. Although, I guess not. I can still block it, right? Never mind. I guess it takes us down to no life left, but it lost a lot for that. So, flyer that maybe fuels our kindly stranger. Seems important in case I need instant speed removal. So now we're just... A land away. Odric with Haste, Trample, and Vigilance. Yeah, I guess we double block. I wanted to use Kindly Stranger, but alas. Well, this is where Vessel looks really bad. <laughs> it turns out Vessel's not so good when... Uh, you don't need it on turn uh, 15 or whatever ridiculous turn it is. I guess I don't need to play Vessel. Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter. Necropod looks good when I've got dudes on board. But he gets to 
swap the Bound by Moon Silver now. I mean, I still get to attack with Crow again, I guess, so it's not like the absolute worst. It's pretty good, though. Corrigible Youth is pretty good, too. I mean, we basically die to a creature draw, right? Because I don't even have a discard outlet. Well, I guess we we only die to a flying creature draw, but... Or a Zorin. Well, he drew something. Oh, that's going to kill us for sure. <laughs> We're super dead now. Hmm. All right, well, we almost won on a Mulda 5. I guess I'm pretty proud of that. Um, I think if we draw better than we did this round, we'll definitely um, do really well in rounds 2 and 3. So... Here's to drawing better. Opponent's deck was pretty sweet, though. I do think that we were well-matched here, though, considering we multiplied five and almost won. Um, all right, we'll see you in round two.